Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw, Editorial Director at TigerFitness.com and Muscle and Brawn Nutrition CEO. Guys, this is hashtag AskBHUD, the big hairy ugly dude. Before I get into the topic, it's good, I'm going to talk about box squats in this video and what you should know before you box squat. Um, before I get into that, if you have a question for me, you can check out the information below. Go over to Instagram or Twitter. Post your question with hashtag AskBHUD or go over to my Facebook fan page and post it up. Now, let's talk about box squats. A few days ago, I made a video about quarter squats, half squats, why they're bad for the knees. Somebody asked me, well, what about box squats, big hairy ugly dude? What about box squats? Are they bad for the knees? <clears throat> Are they a good idea, etc.? I'm no expert on box squats, but I've played around with them enough and helped people enough with them that I'm going to share a few insights. The first thing you need to understand is that box squats, when you do box squats, they are generally, and this is a generalization, that's why I say generally, they are generally going to change your form. Now, some of you might have a knee-jerk reaction to that statement and say, what? What are you talking about? I have good form. They can't possibly change my form. Here's the thing. I am more of a break at the knee squatter. Even if you are more of a hips back squatter, when you box squat, you're going to become more aware of getting your ass onto that box. So you're going to have a tendency to be more, even more of a hips back squatter than you normally are. Now, what this did for me is it changed the squat completely. I was learning to squat a whole new way. And in the process, when I started to box squat, I would pick up knee tendonitis, um, maybe because of some imbalances or weaknesses or whatever. So the, the lesson here is that box squats will change your form. And yes, they can do things like cause knee tendonitis or whatever if you're not if you're just not ready for them. What I mean by ready is that you can't just jump into heavyweight with box squats. Being ready to box squat, first you need a, you need a real solid foundation of squats without a box, just conventional squats. And you need to understand that when you start box squatting, that it is going to change your form slightly. You need to be aware of that. You need to monitor your form when you're box squatting. Is there anything inherently dangerous with box squats? No. But you really, really, really need to understand that your, for, your, your, your uh, foot width is probably going to be a little wider with box squats. You're going to be a, more of a hip spec squatter. This is going to change the squat. You need to understand that going in. You need to listen to your body and relearn a whole new or learn a whole new exercise. And by learning a different form of squats, you need to understand that there is a chance that something like knee tendonitis could happen. So do your research, do your research, do your research, watch videos, videotape yourself. Don't just go heavy on box squats. Get your rep work in for a month or six weeks or whatever. Learn the exercise, get comfortable with your form before you start going heavy. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them below. If you've made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.